A non-native plant is not necessarily an invasive plant. How do we distinguish between native plants, non-native plants, semi-native plants, and invasive, invasive plants? We did a program on invasive plants. We sort of figured out what they were. Well, um, one, of, one of the things that you have to do with uh, non-native plants is really monitor um, their activity over time. Um, if I was to sit here uh, five or ten years ago and, and talk to you about plants that are invasive and plants that are non-invasive, many of the plants that I might have said were non-invasive at that time have since become invasive. Okay. So, in, um, in fact, um, it, I have a book that Cornell recommends for wildlife planting, and they recommended the Russian olive back in the 1960s as the planting Russian for birds, olive? Russian olive, and now it's a non-native invasive. It's taking over entire ecosystems Bad recommendation. on our island. And the Is that mostly because we didn't know didn't any better study, at the time? Or? Or? I would just, we didn't know any better at the time. And, and now the ornamental grasses that everybody is planting everywhere from Asia, China, um, the part that we like, those f inflorescences at the top, those feathery plumes, are thousands of seeds, and now they're popping up everywhere. So I'm imagining that in, in the future, they will be listed as invasive species. And a good example of that is the uh, median grass, uh, yes. which, again, five, ten years ago wasn't a problem. Now it's spreading uh, throughout the uh, fields in Bridgehampton, it's getting down into the wetlands. So um, you really got to watch all these plants over time. And those plants are not useful to any of the wildlife.